Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Well, let's just uh, jump right into it. When last we left off, we were at the uh, the Underdark, the place where all the mushrooms is. I always want to say Black Reach from from uh, Skyrim. All right, let me go ahead and load Zella Star save here, and we'll get started. Still hadn't played much Baldur's Gate in my spare time. Just I did for like. 10 minutes. I don't know. It's kind of hard to get back in sometimes. It's so intimidating sometimes. I guess that's just me, though. Hopefully this will encourage me to play a little more. Get a little further ahead. Kind of want to have some knowledge of what's to come. Almost. Come on. There was a patch before I started the day. It's like for some hotfix I didn't even know about. But here we are back in the Underdark. I can still speak with animals. We have a sigil here. I'd like to find a way to open this door, though. Uh... I do here. See a, a scroll of ray of sickness. Ooh, okay. Hop out here, maybe? Oh, well, it looks like I can. That looks like something dangerous. Let me just go ahead and test something real quick. Uh, can I shoot that? Yeah, uh huh. That would have been dangerous. Oh, find the night song. Uh, the trail goes cold in the underdark. Well, I'm sure it's somewhere around here. Let's just go the only way we can right now, down these vines. Kind of move on from here. Oh, oh no. Back, everybody! Shadowheart! Uh, well, that's uh, one strike for you, Shadowheart. Let's see if you do well this week. What do we have here? Oh, they're all turned to stone. Oh, no. Probably some kind of Gorgon or something around here. Oh, it seems... Uh, a little, a little distressing, yeah. Uh. Oh, it's a caca demon with three rows of teeth. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a surprise attack for certain. Let's see if we can't, uh, do something about that. Go for it, Asterion. Good one. Uh, oh, oh, no, oh, no. Well, he's unpetrified. Maybe if we kill him before we destroy him, maybe he'll, uh, come back to life? Maybe? Okay, Shadowheart would- oh, wait. Oh great, we're all blinded! Well... This isn't good, Asterion's already looking pretty worse for wear. Alright, why don't you take that. Move you over here. Get out of the, get out of the darkness so you're no longer blinded. Sneak attack this guy? No, you do not have advantage. So we'll have to do a regular range attack. Go for it! You take priority, my friend. Won't give in. All right, Zelastar. I want to have you up and hitting this thing a lot. That's what you do best. Swift as my feet can carry me. Let's get to. Oh man, you get some distance, buddy. I love it. All right, uh, let's see what uh, some regular attacks will get us. How could you miss? 
Do not make a fool of me! At least you did something. Alright. I think for I think for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for a while your flurry of blows is gonna be your in case you miss. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, he took me away from him. Well, maybe not. Okay. Okay. I think I've got I think I've got something. I think I can cook. First of all. Spiritual weapon. Hello, Jeppo. Uh, last stream, we went down to the Underdark. We're gonna go, uh, go to Moonrise Towers and stop the cultists and maybe get some answers about the, the tadpole in our brain. Alright, fine. Let's get, uh, let's get Shadowheart out of the darkness. No longer blinded. Let's try this again. We'll get, a uh, Halberd. Never go wrong with the, the Halberd, I suppose. We'll put him right here. Okay. Still your turn, though. So, how about we... You're blocked there. You have no chance of hitting him, it seems. Uh, there are a lot of cults in gaming. I don't know. They just Cults just seem like a great... sort of bad guy du jour, I suppose. I don't know much you can do. Fire him and please hit. You do what damage? That's one can't always be a gentleman. Fine. All right, Gale. To Queen Six. Let's see. What can you do for us? You can do Tasha's hideous laughter. I don't know if that exactly works on him, but. Hmm. Let's just let's just something that dude, let's do something that hurts. Just just hurt him. Just hurt hurt a bunch. Guaranteed damage. Go. Sixteen. Not bad. Oh no! That is not good. You motherfucker. Oh, Asterion. I knew I should have uh, long or er, short rested. Maybe we can still take this guy out, though. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I got you. Okay, good. Uh, can we do it some more? That could have gone better, admittedly. And you can just take that back. Oh, I threw it right at him! Ha! Cool! Well, you're just unpetrifying a lot of guys, ain't you? Oi. This guy's moving a lot. You, are, you, are you trying to get to Asterion? Do you stay the hell away from him, mate? Alright. Just five damage. Between you and Gale, you can do that at least that, right? Come on. Perfect. <coughs> Dust on oh, I did save him! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Ikikurogane! I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator! Quit. Quite ruined my ambush. Now, you are? T uh, I'm Zealastar. You're welcome for the rescue. Rescue? Helpless babes are rescued. I allowed you to assist me. Semantics. I am Dor, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. No, no, my dear dark gods below, no! What? Your J.O. crystal's not working? What's that? A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. By the way, I haven't seen the recent D&D movie yet. I want to, to though. It looks really it good and really funny. Dark. I'm all about that. Then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? Who? Uh, I, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Impossible! The master of the Adamantine Forge would be known and feared 
throughout the Underdark. Oh. Unless... Huh. Ha! The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. If they had just surrendered their research to me, oh, really? they might have found the forge You play together. as a female Drow, you can bully but him because no, Drows are a matriarchal society. Knowledge, left each of us <laughs> clinging to scraps. <laughs> Oh, this guy needs to be bullied. This guy needs to be atomic wedged across a cliff. I've long stopped listening to him. Uh, okay. Uh, what? Okay. What knowledge does the crystal contain exactly? Bold of you to ask. The others knew of the forge's defenses, its operation, but I know where to find it. The rest I can figure out with time. Now I am the only one searching. Or almost the only one. You proved your power in freeing me. But I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment, yes? What? Seriously? Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Try and help anybody, this is where it gets- You're only 11? You're 25, oh. Hmm. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. This guy's got high defense, he got- He's really easy to hit, too. Alright, alright, alright. Zelostar- or uh, Sterion's still down there, kinda snoozing. I might have, a uh, Gale. Yeah, I'll probably have Gale or somebody go and go and help him out. But for now, I'm gonna have uh, Zelostar beat up this guy. Yeah, good. Uh, could I possibly flurry of blows? I'm running out of key points, I know, but this is important. Two misses. Zelostar. You do cool stuff like that, but right now when it comes to accuracy, you're at the bottom of... <laughs> Drop my weapon! Okay... Well, fine. I will go ahead and have Firebolt be done here. Never change, Shadowheart. You, my friend. <clears throat> Gail, you go down and help uh, Asterion. Make sure this guy don't die. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure he won't, but I really don't want him to. On my way. Help the boy out. Good. Can you, like, do anything else, or is that all? Cool. All right. No, 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 don't attack him! No, no! Ah! You fucking freak! Pick up my weapon. Re-equip it. This is ridiculous. Dear lord. Uh, what did I have again? Zion 9? That's, that's not it. Is it? I don't think so. Did I just have a quarterstaff? Well, I'll go with it. Alright. Takes care of uh, my action. I can't do flurry of blows again, so I'm just stuck here. Haha! Now Shadowheart is the one who got missed. Ow! Don't push me. Ow! Don't stab me. It was a quarter step. All right. Well, Asterion's down again. I can't. I can't believe this. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get another spiritual weapon out here. Uh, we'll, uh... Ooh, we got something else. That oh, looks different. We'll go with the Great Axe. Yeah, I'll put you, like... Yeah, right here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna loot the spectator when I get a fucking chance. 
I'm not getting attacked by people who I thought I was were gonna be, you know, loyal to me, or at least be grateful for saving them. Here, do, infl do inflict wounds. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Pleased. I am. Alright, help him again! This poor guy. Are you gonna attack him again? Why? Why do you keep fucking... Why do you keep bullying Asterion? That's gonna blow up if I don't do something. Oh, good lord. Alright. Beat him up. I can't do anything else. What's this? An arm strike? Yeah, do that. Punch him in the face. Yeah. It was a kick, I think. Ha ha! Uh, ow. Alright. Great axe. Do it. Good. Good. Very good. Alright. Can't afford to let up. Okay. Can you, like, heal someone from far away? A creature I can touch. Uh, I can touch. I thought there was one I could see. Probably didn't install that one. Uh, well, I guess this is all I can do. Where the fuck did he go? There he is. Not enough movement. Can I move you over here and then do it? Yeah? Not enough movement? What the fuck do you mean? Fine, whatever. Okay, so... Again, have to help the Starion. How many times do I have to help this poor guy? Can I move to him, maybe? Nah, not enough movement. Oh, and mage armor, perfect. Okay, you, Asterion! Go this way! Get, use your healing potion. I know it hurts. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna deal with it, don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna take care of it. Alright. So, we'll come over here. Can I do frost breath on your ass? No, I can't. Let's do that. That hurts, right? That's a good hurt. Yeah, good. Eh, you really can't do anything because you're stuck up there. I can have you come down here, I suppose. Kind of distract Dorn in case he wants to try something funny again. Alright. See, I, I, I don't want to kill him. I want to make him suffer. So, toggle non-lethal. Vein hand attack. Hit him. Yes. For four damage. Or three. And he hits. Starting to think it's not. it might not be worth it to save this guy. Non-lethal, wait, yeah, non-lethal, ranged, do it! Of course, is there such thing as a non-lethal, uh, 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 arrow attack? I mean, probably not. The spectator eyes! That sounds like a really... A, a really good item. Let's 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 let, let's take a little peek. Raiden is in Fortnite now. Well, good for Raiden. Everybody's in Fortnite now. All right, prison necklaces. Would those be right here? Yeah. What does this do? Ray of fear and wounding ray. Ah. Huh. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll give it to Zealostar for now. Okay. 
Now that we're all fine and dandy. Yeah, I think we killed him. Something over there. He's a skeleton now? Oh. Maybe this guy was long dead. Oh dear. Oh dear. Didn't even have anything on him. What a waste. Well, that was certainly an exciting start to the day. Arrow of Roaring Thunder. Why not? Okay. And it's really on you. Well, where to now? So we can go this way, but we have to go through those noxious fumes, and uh, I'm not so sure about that, but I don't think we have much of a choice. I mean, maybe we could, like, do one of these things, you know, have, have a little jumpy through here. Or it'll just blow up and endanger the entire party again. That's fine, too. Man, you guys are idiots. But you're my idiots. Uh, what am I trying to disarm here? Guess I'll try it. What the? Whoa! Ho ho! Cut! Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I did, but I take the necklace, I suppose. <laughs> oh damn! I used all my luck. I can use Firebolt. Okay. Well, let's try that then. I'm pretty sure you can hit a noxious cloud of gas, right? It'd be easy, right? That's handy. I should have used that in my fight against Doar or whatever his name is. Can't give up now. Step carefully. There's a trap. <laughs> Step carefully. There's a t immediately explodes. All right, where's the non-lethal damage? All right, we gotta get out of here. We just, we, we just, we just gotta stop standing here. Come on, guys. This place is dangerous, unusual, terrifying. Did you guys blow up again? What the fuck? What the hell is this? What 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 is happening? Like the screen is shaking and like something's probably attacking me. I don't know what's happening. Ready and willing. Whips and blades always sharp. Do you need to do something? Okay. Oh, what the hell, man! I just fought for my life here! Oh, man. Well, here we go. Maybe this could probably work. Nice. Good. Every, yeah, everybody turn off non-lethal. What now? Alright, Zell. How, how good of a jump can you do? Oh, that'll get you prone. Try that. Not bad. Alright, now go punch him. I think you've got... No, wait! No, I want you to punch him! Shit! Sorry, that's 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 my bad. Best be on my way. I'll have you move here anyway. You can take a few hits, unlike most other people in the party right now. Shadowheart. I don't think we can do the spiritual weapon anymore. We used all our things. That's 
Okay, I suppose. I guess we'll just stick with the tried and true firebolt. 50 50! Ah, figures. Alright. Gale! Don't get too close. You gotta have at least one fun thing, right? Let's go magic missile. I like the idea of guaranteed damage. That's just always nice to me. May not do a whole lot, but it adds up. Ow! Oh, whoa, whoa! Dear me. Well, fuck. This does not bode well. At all. I don't have advantage. Do a range attack. I gotta give, uh... Asterion some nice arrows. He's the one who uses the, the he's the one who uses them most often. Another fight. Let's go. Okay. Oh, what can we do here, Zell? Get a lot of rev revivify scrolls, though. That's pretty good. I thought we had a greater healing potion somewhere. I think throwing him into the throes of danger wasn't the best idea. Well, not much we can do about it now. Get hurt. And also get hurt. Alright. Could be doing better. This isn't bad. But I really think Zell's gonna kick it as soon as the, uh, as soon as he goes. Uh... Throw a bomb there. Right, better get to it. Critical miss for 18 damage. Explain that one. Swords meet sorcery. All right, magic missile. How much health does he have left? I think we've got this. <laughs> Man. Uh, uh. That was awful. Sheerly awful. Good lord. Alright, everyone. It's long rest time. I need everyone to have their key points back. Everyone's got to get their spell slots back up. Everyone get back to full health. Everyone just stop dying on me! Halson, ready to join the crowd yet? Or we have to get to level 5? I, th I think that's what we have to do. I think we have to get to level 5 before I can make Halson a party member. That's my guess. Because I'm pretty sure he should be, you know, with us. That was, uh, that, was that, 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 that was rough though, no lie. That was a bit of a tough one. Doesn't seem like anybody has anything they want to say to us. I think we're all fine here. All right. We can do a little bit of house cleaning here. Not journal. Like I said, I wanted to give, uh, I want to give some of these to Asterion. Because I think he would have a better use for these arrows than I would. Throwing thunder is really good, you say? Alright then. And most of this stuff is shit that we can sell. Alright. Check the old armor. Don't think he's very proficient with that kind of stuff. Can you wear the, uh,. Like, what we get the... What was the shit we got? The Blood Guzzler armor? Huh. You know what? Why not? It's clothing, and Zellastar can wear it, so... Why not? Hmm. Padded arm? Uh, he's probably... Yeah. Yeah, th that's, that's the stuff for a while. Got any rings? Got a polished ring. Wear that. Looks nice. 
What can we do for melee weapons here? We can give him a, sa a salami. Yeah, that could work. Is there anything he's really good with, though? I mean, he's not proficient with a lot of stuff. Yeah, I guess that'll work. I guess what he has is just gonna have to do. Alright, now what about, uh. Hmm. What about uh, Shadowheart here? She's got a 13 right now. Don't think we have anything that can top that. Ooh, a 14. Uh, yeah, okay. We can go with that. Why not? What's this, though? Okay. Any boots we can give you? Boots of striding. Yeah, okay. We can go with that. Any gloves? Gloves of the Growling Underdog. Yeah, you can have those, but they're not going to be yours for long. Uh, Saloon's Chosen. So you're a Shar worshiper, worshiper, aren't you? You wouldn't wear this, because it would probably kill you or something. Yeah, you can have the silver necklace for the crit 20 that we got. Uh... Should we give you a ranged weapon? Or do you already have one? I think you already have one. Alright. Now for you, big boy. Not good with medium armor. That's fine. We'll give you this light armor. Because it helps you out a bit on that. So now you're a big old stealthy boy. Got any boots set that'll help you out? Spring step boots and speedy light feet. Which you're not proficient in, so we'll give you that. Yeah, 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 I'll give you the dry leather gloves that seem to suit you, I guess. Weapons! I know we got a couple we can maybe give you. Uh, day's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Not too bad at all. And alright, I think we're ready then. Oh, I forgot about Gale. Well, he might be leaving us soon anyway, since we hit level 5, so. Alright, just gonna use the supply pack and... Don't want to use the whole thing! No, no, no. Just, ju just one. Where is the one? What the... No! I just want the one! That's it! Sheesh. Oh, no, no. Ah! Oh, great. I promised I'd be back. It's you again. Hey, hey, hey how, how's it going? Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. Yeah, that, that's the way I'm dealing with things, I see too. You've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. Nothing you ever does. You a as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Uh... So what should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Of course Until it is. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. I know, I want him in my party. A symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. Ah, okay. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is, it? Oh. is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, 
carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Oh no, it's going to be an instant growing army of mind flayers. So that's, that's awful. So who are you? It's complicated. No, it isn't. Just give but me a name. I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Mm -hmm. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. T t t turn what around? Yes. Who, who, who's they? they like, what, what, what protection? I, I don't understand. <sighs> what do you need me to do? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. Oh. They want it back. Oh. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. I know, we've gathered Those this as we're going. The parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. it sounds self-explanatory, you know. Gain access to the Moonrise Towers, the cultists are gathering, pretend that, oh yes, oh the absolute, oh true ones, oh yes, oh yes, and then when they least expect it, BAM! Fuck the whole thing up. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Oh, Popo. Hello, dog. Oh. Oh. Hello, doggo. I don't have any more speak with animal uh, scrolls, do I? Uh, let's see. I don't. I, 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 I don't think I do. I'm afraid. Hello, Scratch. Of course, we can pet the dog. Don't worry. I'll learn how to talk to animals soon. And then we will have dialogue together. Okay! I think we're done here. Let's go. And we had to just uh, dig a hole out from the Underdark and then have set up camp and dig a hole back down and here we are again. Oh, looking snazzy, Zelastar. Look at you. Red's a nice guy. Look at you, fucking Asterion, and oh, man, everyone's looking, everyone's looking prime. I'm loving it. Let's go. All right. Let me take down this here spider web. Nothing to it. Oh, we got a chest here. Why is it always locked? Asterion, could you, um... Could you be a deer and uh, do something about that? <laughs> Easy. Easy indeed. Mm, yes. You can get this right. Should be easy for you. Yeah, no problem. Dirty 20. Outstanding. A resupply stash. I wonder if Lord's pets left anything good. Let's see. We got a crease page. What's it say? Dark Mother, Weaver of Destiny, offer us a blessing to slay your foes. May they be strangled by the threads of fate and dying red in your image. Loth be praised. Cool. And get some gold and some drow studded leather armor. That kind of really what you kind of have on right now. My time to rest. Okay. Where to now? I feel like we could go past here. Cragged Rock. Got into a much 
redder portion of the uh, of the place. Okay, everybody, just wait here. Everybody, wait here. Wait here. Wait here. I'm busy. Let me do something. Cause I know you guys. You guys love to hit every one of these, and we're gonna be blowing up for like years now. Okay. All right. Got another one over here. We're completely overhead now. There we go. There's tunnels everywhere. Who would dig these? And why here? I do believe we have found out the answer to that question, and I do believe his corpse is behind us. All right, looks like down here's the way to go. So, I mean, hey. Oh. There's a guy here. Strahl's body is crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. You okay? Guess not if I can pick your body. What do we got here? One favor, one faithful servant, that's all I summon, no more no less than Malice the Udra never had, or indeed the Mother Most herself. The Yokal was cool. That's all you have. Better take a closer look. At what? The skeleton? Or these rocks? A Viridian crystal? What's that do? What's that for? Salt? Potions? Whatever? Go. Cool. Well, whatever. A perfect ring of mushrooms. Nature or magic? Hmm. Pretty. But it doesn't do much. Not yet, anyway. Maybe it will. There's so many pathways you can go down in these worlds. Scorched ground. Better watch out. Uh oh. Out of the way! Let's get on with it. I'll go this way. Don't touch me. Seems like there's something that doesn't want us near I'm where we are. Like this. But now. All right. Can we, like, magic missile one of these, or is that too far? Probably too far. I imagine a lot of things here are probably too far. So, why don't we go ahead, do a little dash, get over to where it's safe. Over to where it's... How is that, that not safe? You are not going to shoot him through the fucking rock! should speak up. All right. Let's the dash test. over here then. What's next? Let's try this way. So what, does that mean that we can just walk right in front of here because you're fine? Subtle steps. There's a whole bunch of these things. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, uh, really? Boy, y'all are being right pricks about this. Let's chat. The right there is where I gotta hit it, too. All right. Gale! This way. Right away. Still alive. So that's progress. Zell, follow him. If not over, then through. My faith protects me. Shadowheart, just, just 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 get safe. Oh no. That's ridiculous. Well Well if that's the case, you guys just stay here then. On my way. Looking ahead. Moving in. Nope, this way. Maybe I can get them from, like, up top, but I think as soon as I get up here, that thing's gonna hit me. Is 
Is there really no way up? If I do this, then maybe we can throw like some alchemist fire over here, perhaps? I'm upset by these turn of by this turn of events, actually. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Oh boy. All right. This is like a job for a uh, spiritual weapon. Drop a train on him. Watch your back. Lost in thought. It's my pleasure. All right. Hit him. No, like, hit him. Hit him. Thank you. I move over here. Sorry, Zell. Dump Zell, I'm sorry! I think this little guy's gonna help us out here. Alright, Zell. So just go back down. We'll have our great sword friend take care of this. No time to waste. Charmed, I'm sure. Well, I guess it won't. I think it's still fine, though. Can you really not hit it from here? I'm. I, I couldn't be more disappointed in right in you right now. I mean, come on. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. I can't even see it happening to my boy, my dear spiritual sword. Please, no. No rest for the wicked, I see. All right. All right. Great sword slash. Hit him. Have a lot on that doesn't work now. And well, in it. Oh. Oh, we've got one chance here. How delicious! Just hit him in the soft spot. Come on. Why didn't that work? Was it supposed to hit this down here? Well, it's dead now, so... Yeah. I knew it. No time to waste. What now? What now, indeed. Maybe I'll just throw an arrow of acid hatcher or something. Zell. Have to keep going. I know it's I know it's gonna hurt, buddy, but I can't rely on anybody but you. There is work to do. Have to keep pushing. Can I like aim at this thing down here? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I can't even hit it from here. Trust my wall. Taking a beat in here, mate. Let's get going. Moving ahead. I know this has not got to be the best way to do this, but. Hello, Sims Mage! I must be doing this like all wrong. I've got to keep moving. Keep your distance, darling. <laughs> why could I just why could I destroy this one yeah. with just one swing? Ah, 
uh, would, I, would I recommend getting Baldur's Gate 3 now or waiting for a sale? Um, the best time to get Baldur's Gate 3 is right now. Whether it's on sale or not, you'll get your money's worth. However, if you're seeing the game here and it's what you're into, well, just know what you're getting into. Do I have to like stand right behind him and hit this? Like I just want to hit this thing right here. Let's try something else. Like I don't know, uh, frost breath. Yeah, try that. What the fuck? What am I to do? It is not on PS4. It is on Xbox I Series X, PS5, and PC. That is it. On. Like what? Should I just make another uh, spiritual weapon and just try that? Not happy about it, but this is what needs to be done. Watch the shadows. You have my attention. You get out of the way, Zell. Yeah, it's gonna be a hard time finding time for uh, a lot of games, really. I've, I've got a very sizable backlog right now. It's not looking My good. Will guide me. Uh, we can fucking kill him, then. Nothing seems to work. Careful, I bind. But like, I'm doing something Elements wrong here. I have around, to be. So I might as well. I didn't even do anything. The shit, man. How did I defeat this other one then? That one was sturdy too. Why is this one so different? Too oh, far away now. What now? What a day. Hmm. <sighs> them. No, what? Uh, no damage because of sturdy. It's acid. You mean no damage because of sturdy? It's fucking acid. What am I supposed to do? Throw a fucking bomb? Wonder if the gods are watching me. No, I'll throw a bomb, why not? Might have to blow it up first. Can't afford to stay idle. Would you uh, take care of that for me? Prepare to die. You gotta be kidding! It just won't die! That other one went down no problem! Because there it is!
What am I fucking doing wrong here, man? Come on. Not now. All right. Your desire. What the hell? Hmm. I know it's sturdy, I just want to turn it off. How do I turn it off? You know, you, you know what? Like, that thing turned off? What did I do wrong? What did I do differently? I don't understand. What? This way. I just, I just don't get it. Keep your distance, darling. Yes. yes. All right. I, 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 I gotta look this up. This is ridiculous. I've hit it with everything I thought I could, and it, just because it's it's sturdy, it 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 takes no damage. Then how did that other one die? I don't I don't get it. Hang on. What have, my DM, as uh, aggressive and ruthless as he can be sometimes, would often throw me a bone, throw us a bone, whenever there's an issue or something with the, with the gameplay. Like we're having a problem like this, he would probably say, "Okay, as a DM, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say." They are sturdy, which means they are resistance to light. They have uh, special uh, d lightning damage, I suppose. Let's use Witch Bolt. That easy. No one stopped me yet. I'm quite upset. It was that easy? Unbelievable. I'll fill that one later. Just use, just use lightning. That's fine. I talk to it. Nope, but I'm an acid. Ow. Burning. Ow. Sizzling. Corroding. Here Where's we are at the tower? Arcane Tower. Place for Don't even think we respite. could even be here. But as this wizard's not home, I say we take a peek. I'd love to take a peek, but I don't have any ways in. Well, we got this way in. Whoa! Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. Gale. You split from the group. I have you do your little witch bolt thing. Well, get a little closer first. Uh, can we even Come on, make the jump? Ah! All, right, all right, go. Oh! Take over the team! Good! Alright. Well, takes care of that. Can I unlock this big bulky door? Oh, here we go. Yay! Hey! Alright. things have stayed interesting. I, I, I think that we're supposed to be like level five at this point. And I think the game is really upset that we're not right now. But, and uh, really this is the more difficult of the two uh, the two places to go to. Like we could have gone to the mountain pass. We would have had a reasonable time. But now that we're here in the underdark, it's gonna be tougher, but we're gonna get stronger a lot faster. Can I maybe witch bolt from here? Um. Should be able to. Yeah, go for it. Well, I've still got it on him, so will this kill it? Broken! Why? This is just 
been a regular thorn in my side. Go. Kill it. Just do it! Shish. Good lord. Is that blood? No. Never mind. Well, top floor is glitching out. This door over here leads into a balcony with a crate. Elixir of heroism! And some healing potions. I have no memory of this place. Can we open this door? This door opens for another balcony leading to... Just to, that, that's about it. But what's in here? It can only be good, I'm sure. Descend and ascend. Let's ascend first. Looks like some kind of magical contraption. Now, to get it to work. Okay, we need something for it to work, and we don't have the thing here, I'm probably sure of that. Its energy has failed a tingle. Chest of the mundane. There's something to this, then. I bet if I were to uh, change its spell or whatever, it would change the items into something nice. It's just a bunch of cups and mugs and shit. Is this really all that was here? A lot of nothing? A lot of stuff we can't even use right now? Very disappointing. Remember, was that something I saw I could crawl down here? Go a little further here? Or was that just a chest or bench to sit on? No way to ignite these. Strange. Well, this place just sucks a big fat one. All that work for nothing. Don't even have a waypoint here so I can come back later. Maybe I can. Well, shit. I guess we'll just have to go some other way then. What do you say, guys? You still with me? All right, well, let's keep going, I suppose. Through there. Past here, say. Well. Looks like there's something over right here. Do we just gotta do some clever jumping? Poop. think we can do this. Huh. They don't seem to be following me, so I don't think they're going to be joining us for this little jumping expedition. What do you mean to lose one HP? Boy, you guys upset me a lot. Alright. Uh, I don't think we've gone down here yet. Let's try this way. Make this jump, right? Camp. Looks abandoned. I don't like the what made these holes. holes. A suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. Let's uh, check these holes here. What do we got? They look like holes, Captain. were created deliberately but whether by tools or claws you cannot say well I ain't gonna reach into one of those that's for sure because it don't look no damn tool made those right well 
little wary of this area here because we could get caught into a pretty tough encounter if we play our cards wrong. There's one place I would like to go. Ooh, something over there. Ooh, what's there? A thing. To Ooh, arrows and ill matter and glorious vaulting. Probably helps the jump, I'm sure. Is this a chest out here? What do we got here? A whole bunch of nothing. Alright. Again, tread carefully. That's curious. What's curious? What did you see? What did what, what, you see? What's curious? What was curious? Oh, that? Oh! I mean, it, it doesn't look it doesn't look magnificent, but uh, I want to see what that is. Yeah, come here. It was just a gold necklace. That's all right, though. Can you make it up here? All right, good. As a Sterion, I know that you can be a little iffy on the jumping sometimes. Well, hmm. This would, would be a good way to go. Discovered a waypoint, Joy. Again, just kind of be real careful around here. Oh, here we go. Nothing good happens when you start seeing bodies everywhere. Fungal spores. The air is thick with spores. Nearby. They must thrive in the dark. Corpses. These oh no. Oh no. Wear guard. Gods. What? More are coming. That voice. Do you hear it too? Yeah, I do. They're coming. Tell me if I'm imagining that voice. That's a Mykonid. And it's warning us. They are coming. You are coming. You came. Well, we got some rapport spores. We got some dead Mykonids, which I guess are mushroom people. Very cool. Uh... Oh no, that's so dangerous. I can't I, I can't have these things around. Yeah, they just blow everything up to, to smithereens, don't you know? Mask and torch stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Aha. Alright guys, just keep moving. To I hate this place. I hate the Underdark. God! Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. Hello, Sovereign. vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Uh, okay, let's, let's see, uh, hmm. Okay, this is the truth. We only seek safe passage in our search for treatment. That's all. Fungal roots weave Thank you, Shadowheart, for approving of me. Seeking your true intent. 
Yeah, they can read minds. I'd rather not lie to the guy. Cautious, but welcoming. I can mend neither skin nor spirit, but we still might commune. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. That sounds nice. Let's use our other short rest here. Because, you know, we hit the spot. broke our bones trying to get here, basically. Well, we made it to Ebon Lake Grotto. Got something to say there, Gale? My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Ah, uh, jeez. All right, all right, all right. What do we got for you? Eh, uh, well, I know a lot of us are wearing a lot of these, but what's this? The Robe of Summer. Grants resistance to cold damage. Is that what, uh, that must have been what Zealostar was wearing before I changed him into the blood. Here, go and have that. Thank you. Here, hopefully that helps, buddy. Hopefully you'll be okay. Well? Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mistra, have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Uh, okay, go on. You're among friends. It might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. Yeah. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. Lucky she revealed you. herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Oh, you got a magic dummy, mommy? So, well, are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. Oh, boy. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. How can you, you desire see, no more? How powerful a wizard we God, you humans can become. Suck. We never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so how exactly did you try to cross the boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Pouted? Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. She's a and goddess! You, you should have listened to her! Now. I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? We can go over that later. Just, just straight to the sordid. We're, we're kind of busy here. We're in a place of, like, we're expected with the head of the mushroom people here, so. Suffice it to say, I obtained an obscure and ancient book that had locked away inside a much coveted prize. It was a fragment of primal weave locked out of time. Locked away from Mistra herself. Oh, no. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. Well, I think if she knew about where her missing weave was, she would have got it by now. I took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. 
You're really physical with your magic showings, you know. I... You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. It, I, I, the dark. Stop! All right! All right! Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bowed and suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages. Only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Oh, it's a symbiote. Got it. It's claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And the gods is it ever hungry. What is it? What do you see? Kinky shit is staring. You'd love it. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as it's I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, Remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Yeah, you'd, you'd take out a city block, I'm sure. You will die. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. We'll take out a country? It'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Is there nothing we can do? You might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. I'm gonna All I'm gonna this. bet on a miracle. It must feel like a betrayal. I don't know. D and D campaigns seem word. to be ripe and with we'll miracles. I'd hear what the others say first. You'd have us to bait. That Netherese Jack in the Box should be a blip on the horizon by now. I'm in two minds. And frankly, don't care a great deal. Either decision is fine by me. Alright. We've come this far together and we'll, com we'll continue on together. That's how it'll be. I'd rather have you blow up in a place that we know about it so we can do something about it rather than you wander off somewhere where someone could capture you or kill you or whatever and then, well, where would we be then? That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. It's out of convenience, not all. compassion, but I'm glad I you're happy. If yeah, you stand fine. against me, I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. All right. So, he's going to blow up if we don't take care of this problem. We'll just keep that in the back of our minds. No problem. That's all right. That's fine. That's cool. Sweet. This is the village of the Myconids, a bunch of cool mushroom people. Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Okay, alright, jeez. I'm just trying to be friendly, but apparently we need to speak immediately. That's fine, okay. What is the creature doing to the... The Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Now you're beautiful and uh, like multicolored and bioluminescent. I you're show just... you a memory. Watch and listen. Okay. A violent Watching, listening. You. Dwega, dark dwarves. Oh, no! Can it remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. 
The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. Lakewood. The sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Sounds cool to me. Such wicked killers deserve wicked ends. Why did these Dwegar attack? Deep purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. Uh, d d sure, I can handle those Dwegar nearby. That's fine. Cool. An illusion comes over you. But oh, a staring lights this like, oh yes, killing people. Dust. Now I'm on board. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. What do you got for me? The sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Ooh. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Alright, sounds good. The haste spore grenade. What does that do? If I can find the thing, that is. I've always got a hard time looking at this inventory here. Where would that be? Hmm. I hear someone moaning in pain. Oh, here it is. Uh, explodes in a cloud of invigorating energy that hastens creatures within. Huh. It works out. What's your problem? Don't. Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. Most likely held by the Poisoner. Who did this to you? Dwegar! Slashed me! Oh. Yeah. The Dwegar poisoned you. Perhaps they have the cure. <laughs> Graze. Don't share. I know. I was implying I would kill him and get the, like, yeah. Hurts. Leave me. Please. Hmm. Let's see what we got of this poison here. Ooh, advantage. Ooh. Need some guidance on there. Make sure we definitely know what we're talking about here. I don't like I rolled a 1 and a 13. I hate that. Oh, bad. Ew. Gunky. Why? Like dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate bruise. Though deadly, if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. Hmm. Sit tight. There must be more than one way to cure you. Not going... Anywhere. Well, hopefully you'll live. I'm pretty sure you will. No reason why you wouldn't, I'm sure. Alright. I think we got everything. We've reached some footing here. Looking at the map, I think the rot they want us to take care of is... Indeed, this encounter I was talking about. So, there's one more thing I'd like to do here. But maybe I might save that for next time. Right now, I think I need a long rest. We use both of our short rests, and uh, everyone's kind of hurting right now. But hey, we've uh, reached a, uh, a turning point, I'd say. Hey there, boy. Hey, 
Anytime's a good time to pet the doggo. Man, I'd watch a TV show called Zealastar and Scratch. <laughs> That'd be fun. Nobody seems to have anything to talk about. Halson is probably still not going to join us because we're still too weak. Hope that'll change pretty soon. How do we look on that anyway? Uh, almost. I think a couple of really good uh, encounters here, and we'll be at level 5 soon enough. Till then, use a supply pack, and let's have a big old sleep. You recognize the feathered creature. Oh, hey! It's the owlbear cub you rescued. I didn't really rescue you so much as I just kind of let you be, but... Well, come here. Roll a ten, right? Let's do that. It's easy, right? Dumb naturally! <laughs> the cub tilts his head. He does not trust you. Yet. Well, that's fine. Get a piece of food here. Oh, you all love that! I'm I'm the glad you all approve. Lock onto the food in your hand. There you go. The creature gulps the food down. It seems he hasn't eaten in some time. What happened to your mum? With a hungry chirp, he steps forward. He wants more. Oh, he wants more, Can't does he? Once that thing's eaten through the camp, it might start looking at you hungrily. Alarmed by your companion's approach, the cub turns <laughs> here. Shadowheart! I'm not chasing after it, if that's what you're thinking. God, you bitch. Scare away my elbow friend. I'm not doing after that. <sighs> Well, I'm pretty sure that, uh, we'll see him again. That orb seems powerful. What can it do once it's extracted? Nothing good can come of it unless it is contained. Why? It might be useful. <laughs> Who knows? Well, all right. I think that'll do it for right now. The next time on Baldur's Gate 3... We're going to head down to the Underdark Beach and take care of the rot that lurks in the Underdark. And help these nice, fine, strange, strange mushroom people. Vikingids, I mean. But I think down here I'd rather be on their side. So we'll help them out next week. See you then.